Today in this special episode, my guest is my friend, my colleague and my teacher, Muhammad Naimuddin. Muhammad Naimuddin is Masters in Food Science and Technology and he got a position in his Masters. He has almost an experience of 12 years working in different big multinational firms including EBM, Al Marai Saudia and currently he is working in Del Monte Saudi Arab as Quality Assurance Manager. Thank you so much Naim Bhai for joining me online. Thank you Sharyar, it's a pleasure to be part of your channel. My first question to you is, what is the difference between food science, food technology and food engineering? Well, science is knowing and technology is its uh, application. Let's consider the example of the cooling. Basically, it's a science concept, uh, but once you utilize it to cool down, say, bread, then it's a utilization of that concept and refer to technology. For food engineering, uh, we may refer the same example. To make that concept workable as technology, you need to develop a uh, cooler, you know, and you do it by following the principles of the science and considering the application for that particular product. So that's where food engineering comes into play. Uh, having said that, um, uh, there are slightly different approaches towards the food engineers or food engineering. That's because uh, there are different universities which are located in a different parts of the world and they have slightly different curriculum. Uh, as far as food industries are concerned, I didn't found much of the difference um, in the job roles of uh, food technologists, food scientists or food engineers. You are leading a very big team. So how do you manage it? I mean, leadership is entirely a different skills. So I just want to know, how do you manage your team? Sure, yeah, you will agree with me that uh, team management is one of the most challenging tasks that we face because being the technical person, our prime focus is always to enhance our technical skills. But we never thought of the management part, which is equally important as well. Uh, also, I would like to add uh, one point that uh, in Middle East, you might find seven nationalities working in the same team. So it's even more challenging and it's more demanding here. Uh, now, how I manage uh, my team is uh, I just stick to the fundamentals, you know. I, I just uh, make sure that the communication is spot on, my team is motivated, you know. Uh, you have to give them the trainings that are needed for them. You have to develop the reward culture, you know. You have to give them the constant feedback about their positives and, uh, you know, how, uh, where they're lacking actually. And uh, you need to just uh, uh, ensure that the fundamentals are going right. And that's how you can manage your team only. So in your view, what exactly the responsibilities of quality assurance? Well, in most of the industries, the Q and QC responsibilities are under the same umbrella. So in my response, I'll discuss their combined responsibilities. The ultimate responsibility of QA in food industry is to ensure that the food reaching to the consumer is safe to consume and it's meeting or exceeding the customer requirements to ensure that uh, the companies acquire uh, different certifications like HACCP, BRC, ISO 22000, FSSC 22000, uh, QMS which is ISO 9001 and HALAL etc. Um, QA uh, develops, uh, implement and review food safety and quality policies, procedures they are uh, involved in vendor development, they are uh, testing raw material, they are testing packaging material, they are auditing suppliers, they are doing CCP's verification, OPRP's verification, PRP's verifications, uh, QCP quality control points verification, uh, fee for checks in stores, they are doing uh, delivery vehicle temperature checks, let's say, in, in uh, logistic. Uh, uh, they are doing the assessments uh, for food defense, uh, for vulnerability along with the team. They are doing a hazard analysis with the team in uh, HACCP case, you know, and they are doing more drills like more recalls. They are doing uh, crisis management drills. Uh, in some cases, they are verifying, uh, you know, uh, the uh, cleanliness, the hygiene. Uh, they are doing environmental swabs. They are doing you know, ATP through ATP swabs. Uh, they are investigating the customer complaints. Uh, they are determining their root causes. They are, uh, you know, uh, implementing the corrective actions. They're keeping the records. 
they are doing the trend analysis. So it's just some of the few responsibilities, major responsibilities which uh, QA is performing. One question which I asked to every expert working away from the country about the job situation. So the people uh, who are willing to work there can have prior idea and they can manage the things accordingly. So what is the job situation in KSA for FTs? For job market, we need to look into the country's economic condition first. Well, since the oil prices has gone down, the Saudi economy is not doing great. And indeed, the budget is going in deficit as well for the last two years. But surprisingly, their FNB sector is growing well, which is around 11%. So in a nutshell, I could say that uh, uh, the trend is mixed. It's uh, neither very good or encouraging or not very discouraging as well. It depends upon your skill set. It depends upon your career phase. and. Uh, it depends on your luck. Thank you so much, Naim Bhai, for the great advice. And thank you so much for being with us online from KSA. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Sharyar. It's a pleasure to be part of your channel.